last transaction is digital rupees of five hundred. Digital rupees of two hundred successfully received. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right. As you've seen in the um, beginning of this um, video, the clip clearly displaying that the digital rupee, all right, the CBDC rupee is in full effect over there in India. All right. And um, it was being used, you know, in a market setting, you know, in the sale of um, fruits and vegetables. OK, so. Clearly, you can see, you know, through the spirit that this MLTB technology, all right, is already at work, all right? And very soon, you know, very shortly through the spirit, you're going to see how this technology, like wildfire, spreads throughout the four corners of the globe. Now, there's even a website where you can actually um, go and view the CBDC process, you know, throughout the four corners, okay, you can see where particular nations are with the advancement of their trials that they're running with this new currency, all right, this new digital currency, all right, which is going to be the norm very, very soon, man, okay, so what more evidence do you need, all right, that these prophecies through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai are coming to light, are coming to pass, Okay, and it's, it's speaking louder than ever. All right, so Kahalayim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kudash. You know, this is a beautiful time that we are living in. Okay, and it's, if it's already at this stage where you can see, you know, videos of this technology being used, okay, in particular nations already, okay, then now, you know, as the scripture says, you know, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. Okay. Now, this is um, Habakkuk chapter 2, and we'll get to the straight to the point in verse 3. And it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right? So these prophecies, all right, are not tarrying. All right? They are coming to pass. Okay? They are actually coming to pass. You're seeing, you know, this beast system, all right? the foundations of it, all right, living and breathing, all right, now in the NLT, it says the vision is for a future time, it describes the end, and it will be fulfilled, if it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place, it will not be delayed, all right, and hey, none of us can say right now <laughs> that it seems slow in its coming, all right, because you're actually seeing Okay, the things that were spoken of in the Holy Scriptures being brought to life. You're seeing the foundations of this beast system being brought to life, being put in trials. Okay, you're seeing, you know, articles about the MOTB, the Revelations 13 and 16. Okay, there's all, there's all sorts of things happening right now concerning things in relation to the Holy Scriptures, in relation to prophecy. Okay, it's happening right now. All right, so there's not much time, all right, for you people that are slow of mind, all right, to actually, um, you know, come into the fold, all right? Yeah, the scripture says, you know, that, you know, they shall be of quick understanding, all right? You better grasp this while it's still possible, all right? And let's get, um, let's get Isaiah 55, all right? Let's get a few scriptures in Isaiah 55, all right? This is um, Isaiah 55 and let's start from verse 6 and then we'll jump to verse 11 and verse 6 and it reads seek ye the lord while he may be found 
call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? So, you know, the, the gates of repentance are closing, you know, quicker and quicker as the days go by, man. All right? The, the gates of, of, of repentance are closing that much more, you know, every single day that goes by in this wicked and defiled kingdom, man. Okay? Because more and more, you know, the Lord is making it very apparent. He's making it plain, you know, through the Spirit that these prophecies, all right, are about to be fulfilled at any moment, okay? At any moment, you know, the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is going to manifest, man, okay? Because the last few prophecies that we've been telling you about through the Spirit, all right, are in the, are in the development, all right, to be fulfilled, all right? And a lot can happen, you know, in a very short space of time, okay? There's nothing, you know, in, in, in Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai's graphs that's not possible, okay? Things can happen very, very quickly, you know, upon the face of the earth, man, okay? In 24 hours, a lot can happen. In a month, you know, a lot of substantial ground can be covered and laid, you know, so these prophecies, you know, can surely come to pass. A lot can happen in a very quick time, all right? That's something we have to bear in mind, okay? There's a, there's a famous quote, by a Russian journalist, uh, his name, you know, leads me right now, but the quote roughly paraphrasing is there are decades where nothing happens, but there are weeks where decades happen. Okay. There are years or decades where nothing happens, but there are weeks where decades happen. So sometimes, you know, the law can have it where in a matter of weeks, you know, decades of progress can be made. Okay, and these are the times that we're living in. Things are going to start moving very quickly through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you got to get this truth while you can. You got to get this truth, you know, via the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, while they are out there on the highways and the byways and able to preach this word in truth and in sincerity. Because that time is coming when the famine and the word spoken of in Amos Satan eleven is going to be activated. Okay. So don't take for granted, you know, the presence of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai by his words, okay? Because soon they won't be obtainable in relation to the understanding of these words because it's the prophets that break these things down so you can understand, all right? Now let's jump to verse 11 and it reads, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper, in the thing where to I sent it, all right? So again, these prophecies are not going to fail, all right? They're not going to return unto the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, void, meaning unaccomplished. They're going to be accomplished, all right? They're going to be completed in these in this lifetime, all right, that we're living right now. It ain't going to be no, you know, decade from now, you know, five, six years from now, even three years, two years, okay? It's going to be very, very soon. Now, the scriptures say, you know, no man knoweth the time, okay? Not even Yahweh Shai, but only the Father, okay? But we know through measuring the time, as pursuing to 2 Estrus chapter 9 from the top on down, we know that, that we're in the midst of the end of Esau Edom's kingdom, okay? Now, let's get one more scripture right quick, and then we'll close out. Let's get Ezekiel chapter 33 and um, verse 33. All right, and let's get straight to the point. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. All right. So when these prophecies start coming to pass, that's when you're going to know who the true prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai actually were and actually are. Okay. Because there's a lot of, you know, groups out there that are not, you know, correctly warning the people regarding the MOTB. All right. Regarding you know, the Revelations 13 and 16, okay? And that's why the scriptures compares you to dumb dogs that cannot bark because you're not correctly warning the people, okay? The, the scriptures also go into, also go into, um, if you if the trumpet blow an uncertain sound, who shall prepare to the battle? You have, you, you got to blow that trumpet correctly, man. You got to blow that, 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 that um, trumpet of war because we're in a time of war. We're in a time of spiritual warfare. And we're also in a time of carnal warfare that's happening throughout the, throughout the four corners, man. Okay? So you got to alert the people in the correct way. You got to blow the trumpet correctly, man, so the people can prepare for Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai is coming. All right? 
So with that, Lord willing, this brief lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.